You're out there trimming your grass with your steel curve shaft, weed eater, trimmer, strimmer, whatever you call it where you live, and all of a sudden that falls right out on the ground, and now you have that in your hand. I am going to show you how to fix that for free. Welcome back to Steve Smallage and Saloon. So what happened right there? There's a bearing inside of the end of this tube right here. It's supposed to look like that. This piece right here is still stuck in the end of that tube, and this piece right here is stuck in the end of your line head. It simply just came apart. There's a little clip right here on the back side. You can see that little, it's a little C-clip. That came off, and uh, don't worry about that because that clip is still inside of this tube right here. It can't fall out. We're gonna reuse that clip right there, but we have to do a little trick before we reuse that and put it back together. I'm gonna show you what that little trick is in a second. First of all, we have to get this apart, get that piece back out of the tube and uh, carry on from there. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get that line head off of that uh, little uh, shaft right there. Take your line head off just like you normally would and and pull that shaft out right there. Get, put your line head aside and we're gonna put that back on too. Now we've got that little shaft right there. We have to get the other part of the assembly. It's a, it's a bearing assembly. I know it's not a ball bearing, but it's still called a bearing assembly. Let's get that out of there now. All you have to do is uh, get this guard off, this big orange guard. One big screw in here, you take that out some of these have a flat screwdriver that fits in there, and some of them are a Torx 27. I've seen both. Get it out of there. Put that screw aside, and the only thing now is you just take that, and, and this should just pry right off of there. Put that guard aside, because you're going to be putting it back on. Now you will see that there's a little, tiny little screw right here. That is a Torx 27 tool. You need to take that out. Actually, that's technically not true. A Torx 25 will work also, but a Torx 27 is the proper tool. Let's get that little screw out of there. Just like that. Put those tools aside, that screw aside, and now we have to pull that bearing out of there. Sometimes these bearings uh, pulling out of that tube are really tight. Some of them come out really easy. Take your time doing this. I use uh, channel lock players. Some people call these water pump players. They work really good. There you go. Now that piece came out. Tool aside. Now, oh, look at that. And there's the clip, just like I showed you. Stuck right on the back of there. We're gonna reuse that clip. Now we have every piece there where it came apart. I'll put these side by side for you so you can see these. That's what the assembly looks like. It's together and working properly. This is the one that came apart. All we need to do is put that back together. But there is a reason that that little C-clip came off. If you look at the end of this little shaft right here, if you look at it really close, you might need a magnifying glass or a pair of reading glasses or something to see this. But if you see... Right on the top of that groove, you'll see it's just tapered on the top. It's tapered on the top where that C-clip should be catching on there. So it's worn. If you just pop that all back together again, it's going to come off again. We need to square up the top edge of that groove again so the C-clip won't come off ever again. Super easy to do. Hacksaw blade right there is your best friend. I would not use a Dremel tool of any kind, like a cutoff disc, because it won't be square, it'll be rounding it, just even probably even worse. So you do this, um, look at that real close, and just start taking your hacksaw blade and, and cutting it. Roll it around and around as you're cutting that. You don't want to go too deep, you don't want to cut the thing in half, but you just want to square up that edge. Hold the hacksaw blade up to the top because we don't care about the bottom of that groove, just the top. 
and you keep going around and around like that and you keep looking at that until you see that square edge. Now you see what I did on there? I, here's a before and after picture. The left side is tapered, you can clearly see that. And the right hand side on the picture there, you can see the difference. It's nice and square and sharp. And a little bit deeper, which is not a problem. That's what you want, a sharp edge right there to catch that C-clip again. Now we still have all the pieces here to put the assembly back together again. You got the washer that goes on there first, and then the um, outer housing, and then another washer. And now we have to put that C-clip back on there. The easiest way to do that is with a 3 8 socket. It fits right over that shaft really nice. So you just get the C-clip sitting on top like that and put your 3 8 socket over top and just push on that and click. Did you hear that click? You might not have. Now it's actually snapped right into that groove again. That is fixed. There, you would be hard pressed to take that C-clip back off on purpose now. That is not coming off ever again. You just fixed the bearing assembly. Now we can put it back together and it's a reverse procedure to put it back together. You just do that. I will tell you one more trick here to save you a headache. Be the drive shaft that is coming around that corner, it's a big spring. So because how it's coming around that corner, um, it's pushing this way and it's jammed up into the top side here. So when you just push that back on, there's no way you're gonna line up the drive shaft with the hole in the center there because of that. Uh, needle nose players, just pull that drive shaft out a little bit like that and put it in the bearing housing first and then slide that back into where it was like that and you see how i got a little resistance here there's a gap right there a little resistance it's trying to line up with the cl clutch drum on the on the engine side so you just kind of put some pressure on there and just start turning that, that if you can see boom it just clicked into place that means the other end of the drive shaft just slipped into the clutch drum where it should be and now that works beautifully again like i said put it all back together again put that little screw back in your guard back on and your um, line head back on and you're good to go well i sure hope i helped somebody save some money out there again those little bearing assemblies are not cheap just so you know i did this uh oh six years ago maybe on my uh, steel fs 45 and it's my trimmer. I've been using it ever since and has never came apart again in six years. So I know this works. I hope you like this video. Put your comments down. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell button all the way to the top. So it's a black bell. So you get notified when I put another video out. Till the next one, guys and girls, cheers. Steve out.